could... I don't know, apparently there's a tournament. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, but we will probably just play some multiplayer. Uh, we could try a 2v2. You know what? Sure. We haven't really talked about that. If I remember correctly, there are several different maps for 2v2. Never mind, we're facing Spongebob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Missing Waldo. Hello. Uh, so yes, yes, Spongebob. I'm gonna, I'm gonna battle it out with some robots. But yeah, in 2v2 you share kind of a health pool, and you can sort of affect each other's fields a little bit with different stuff. But that's okay. Ooh, Marksman Specialist. Crawler, a Stormcaller, hmm. Mustangs are pretty good all-purpose units. Crawlers, hmm. Giant Specialist, though, with Marksman and Mustang. That, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Actually, this seems like a pretty good all-rounder other than the lack of health. Hmm. I think we're gonna go giant specialist. I want to try. Okay, so we've got marksmen already, we've got mustangs. I think. Well, let's see what our opponent might have. Crawlers, sledgehammers. Okay, okay. Hmm, maybe I also want sledgehammers. Am I? Maybe I don't have the money for that. Hmm. Hmm. We will unlock something for zero. I guess we'll just take fangs for now. Okay. Moxman. Let's move you here-ish. We're going to have problems with those sledgehammers for sure. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit something like that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Having aerial units here would have been great. Would have been great. Probably would have just won, but that's okay. We, I think... Hmm. Yeah. Excels of fighting other low HP units. Let's get a Fang. A couple of those. Try something like this for now. And I could rotate you guys. I think I will just for future stuff. We'll click R to rotate. Yeah. And then I think I'm good. Okay. I'm kind of slow. Oh, you focused on just one side. That was pretty smart. <laughs> well, I guess I have my other marksman, I guess. Oh dear. It's not going to be enough, though. Those sledgehammers have plenty of protection. The question is... Yes! Okay, good. So hopefully we can hold off long enough <laughs> to come up behind and take out these units. But I don't know if we can, because this is about to wear off here. Okay, our marksman outranges their sledgehammers, I think. Ooh, but they got my tower at just the right time, really. Huh. We'll see. Okay, yep, yep, maybe, maybe we can... Uh, I think they still have enough units left that I'm not going to be able to... Well, yeah, no. If we could get through all of the sledgehammers before those guys popped up, maybe. But I think they have some upgraded units. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Missing Waldo, good job. Okay. Now... What do we want? Extended Range Vulcan. That's an interesting idea, and I think we go with yes, since I have my giant units, so let's get the Vulcan ready for launching. Yes, you cost nothing to unlock. Uh, we are going to try to survive a little bit longer without giant units. Hmm. I think I get another Mustang. And since this is already a problem for him, I wonder if he'll even think about that being a problem. We'll try it. I want to try to make his life more difficult, basically. Until things happen. We're going to save this 50 for when we get our giant units. Though, honestly, you know what? We're just going to do this. Okay. This will probably go decently well. Uh, okay. Spending a lot on upgrades, which is a decent response. He's going to try to missile me. That does kill my marksman. 
It's not bad, but we got people in the back waiting to take out these towers. We'll see how that goes for them. Hmm. Cause yeah, oh, yep, those crawlers, I think, are going straight for my tower. But it's not soon enough! Okay. Mm-hmm. Problems. We have them. Yep. Okay. We have the guys in the back still, though. So the real question is, can he... Yeah, I think he can. Yeah... Well? Well, well, well. Maybe not. Maybe we can catch up in time. Hmm. If we can kill these sledgehammers... Uh, they're upgraded, though. Yeah, I'm not certain about this. Nope. <laughs> I think we're dead. But, it's pretty close. So that's good for us. Because now we can pull in the giant units. And be pretty happy about that, I think. Okay, yeah, we're going to take some more damage. That's one reason why we got that 4300 HP initially, because we have a harder start. But, uh, unfortunately, he's getting a lot of XP on his units. Ooh, a barrier. Yes. Give me a Vulcan. Vulcan. And I think we will have the Vulcan start here-ish. We'll give it the barrier. And then I think I do not... Well, I could upgrade you guys. It's probably important enough. Yeah, I'll upgrade you guys. So we'll just get the one Vulcan with the barrier. And that is kind of what we've got. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. Okay, they're getting upgrades and stuff. Smart, smart. And they're <laughs> smartly blocking my units, yes. Yeah, and he gets some sort of innate upgrade immediately. So now I've been countered. But I think those units did what I needed them to do. Okay, and that sentry missile will do nothing to our barrier. So this Vulcan is going to do work. Yep. Because those guys are completely focused on the wrong threat. Which is wonderful for me. Oh, and we actually broke through, I think... Those... No, those are his units, aren't they? Okay, well our barrier is doing a lot of good work for us. As you can see, we were able to get through there. We have extended range on our Vulcan, so that's nice. And this thing probably gets enough XP to level, which should be great. Yeah, cinematic finish. Okay. And then we do 400 from the Vulcan alone, another reason I like the giant units. Okay. Uh, tank production line is really good. Yeah. Okay. I'm now going to unlock the Overlord since you have... I think few people that actually shoot into the air. Right? Mm, I could be wrong about that. But it's still a cool unit. So, we're gonna <laughs> just have you hide out by the Vulcan, basically. <laughs> we're gonna upgrade you. We're gonna give our guy some tank production. And we're gonna end our deployment. We'll see how this goes. Oh, what is... Oh, the hacker! Oh, no. Oh no, good thing I got the Overlord. But if he hacks my Vulcan, we are in deep doo-doo. Okay. Well, <laughs> problems, we have them. Fair enough. Hmm, I don't know what the best... What would the best counter to the hackers be? Sledgehammers, maybe? Hmm. Like, part of my problem is I have not been able to focus on any, like, one... Thing, right? So it's hard for me to get tech upgrades that are super significant. Uh, hackers can hack based on your HP bar, so I'm not terribly concerned about it at the moment. I probably should be, because my barrier's dropping pretty quickly. But if my Overlord can get out there too... Okay. And we do have enough small units for tech from the hacker. That's good, that's good. Okay. 
I think we still make it through this, but if he takes over the Vulcan, that's actually fine, because our overlord can still kill the Vulcan. Okay. No, we're good, we're good. Okay. Hmm. I can upgrade the Vulcan again. Oh, parasitic ammo. Parasitic ammo. We could get a battleship, but I think if we take this parasitic ammo, we get another Vulcan. We scoot you over to here. And then we give you a screen of units. But what? Can I unlock sledgehammers for cheap? I can, and I will. There we go. Alright, we'll do that. I think that'll be good. Okay, and he's got a missile strike, I think, probably off cooldown now. We'll do that. So, I should try to upgrade my units pretty soon. Oh, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> this is going to be a problem. Because upgrading means we can do more damage to the barriers faster. Yeah, he's still taking out my marksman, which is kind of funny. Okay. But I do need to get upgrades because my firepower's falling behind. I don't gain any extra XP, etc., etc. So, yeah. Problems. We do have them. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and that, I think, was the orbital javelin just killing my other Vulcan. <laughs> uh, but the parasitic ammo giving us crawlers from the Vulcan getting kills should hopefully be helpful. I think they took over my overlord, though, so we are dead. Right? No? Okay. Hmm. I guess my fangs took out my evil overlord. Oh dear. So yeah, these hackers. Man, I thought the sledgehammers would be enough, but no. And I guess because he hacked my Vulcan. Okay, okay. It's game time. Increase the range of all ranged units. That could negatively impact things. Ooh, okay. Anti-interference seems really important here. Uh, hmm... We could ignite people, increase attack range further. We can increase attack. I think we do that. I need more damage against these barriers. Hmm. I think I just need more small stuff too. Okay, so our sledgehammers are doing some decent work. And this is one reason why I want space in the front, so then now I can put other things out there that will attract these hackers before they can do stuff to us, in theory. Now, he's already used his orbital javelin and stuff as well. Anti-interference module won't matter at the moment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there for now until we get our next giant unit. Let's see how this goes. This could be the end if I don't do well enough here. I'm hoping the Vulcan will do enough damage to the barrier. Yep. Okay. We're making our way through. I think we do need to increase attack though. Okay, we did get through the tower. Excellent, excellent. So yeah, without those active abilities, uh, I think I'm going to lose this Vulcan over here, though. Yep. Yep, yep. Hmm. Oh, they took over my marksman. <laughs> no! Okay. Well, we'll have to see how this goes. Oh, uh, they took over my small units pretty quickly. I didn't realize they could be that fast at it. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll probably take out this Vulcan. Yeah, he's summoning crawlers still. Okay, but we did decent damage. Okay, so the next round could very well be the last, so I need to spend everything I can. Increases the strength of shield devices. Yes. Okay. You, we are upgrading. We have the increased attack. We can get incendiary bombs. Attacks ignite the target could be good. We're going to get 200 extra supplies now. 
We can try to recruit more units. We can get more range on units. Hmm. Anything else I want? Melting points, maybe? I want to get some melting points. I'll do that. I'm going to get another unit. A Vulcan. I think I'll put you here-ish. Okay, and I still have 200. Increase the range of all units. Upgrade you. Okay, and then I think we will try this anti-interference uh, on you, melting point. Okay. Is this? Yeah, this is fine. Okay. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Melting point, save me from these barriers! Okay. Oh dear. But yeah, Melting points excel at single target damage. They did do the back... Yep. They did do the backdrop. I was worried about that. Oh, this is probably not going to end well for me. Yep. Nope. Melting point, no! Okay. Well, <laughs> taking out their tower, I don't think that's going to be enough. I don't think so, with our single Vulcan left. Go, my Vulcan! Go! May the fires of victory burn ever brighter for you. But I think you're just going to get hacked in like, what, 10 seconds from here? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm dead. Yeah. Good job. I didn't think Waldo would get me. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, those hackers. Yep. I probably should have done maybe more sledgehammers and more upgrades earlier on. So, okay. Good to learn. Good to learn. We get some research level out of it. Pretty sure... Oh, I didn't lose combat power. Okay. Good to know. So yeah, we could do another one. Let's see what happens. I'm betting 1v1s are just more often, but yeah, now we can try. Oh, this poor, poor teammate. <laughs> you have somebody with combat power of 21. <laughs> oh well. How do I just turn off? Hide the chat window. Yoink. We'll do that. Okay then. Hmm. Giant specialist, 2800. Ooh, get more money every round seems pretty good. Obtain early supplies in the first round, maybe? Uh, I kind of like Aerial Specialist. Yeah, okay, we'll try it. We don't start with any Aerial units, though, that's... <laughs> kind of lame, kind of lame, Aerial Specialist, but oh well. All right, then, so we've got Arc Lights and Sledgehammers, which we're pretty much not going to worry about. We are going to quickly go into the wasps, because if I remember correctly, overlords can get a tech that lets you get more wasps quickly. Uh, let's see, so this is my enemy right here. And are we doing a side-to-side -side map? It looks like we probably are. Yes. Okay. So this is my teammate, I believe. Okay, and this is our enemy. Oh, they've got phoenixes. Yep, so we have wasps. Okay. I can't go help my teammate at the moment by doing this, as much fun as that would be. Uh, what do you have? Marksman? Ooh, that's a level 3 marksman, I think. Oof. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna set up a little bit... like Waldo did, where we're gonna try to focus more on one side than the other. But I still want enough things here. I think we'll do a little bit of that. And we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to protect my tower from this right side a little bit. Okay. But yeah, oh, that's a very centralized marksman. It's bad for my health. 
probably good for them. And they must have gotten... No, they got cost control specials, have they? Hmm. Not sure how they got the level 3 marksman immediately, but okay. Phoenixes, though, I do want to use Wasp to take out those Phoenixes for my friend. So, if he can, you know, pop up, beat this guy for revenge, that would be good. Unfortunately, my Wasp kind of rushed ahead too far, but they are doing a good job holding down the line. We do not want to link the Sledgehammer's health because of these steel balls, that's good to know. Uh, we will probably be able to survive a little bit through this Marksman, but... They're going to kill my tower first, yeah, and then I'm going to die. How is my friendo doing? Friendo? Uh, I have to change the camera. Unless, ah, I don't think this is my friend. <laughs> no, steel balls are like mini melting points, so they're going to get through this tower pretty quickly, I think. But oh, this this is my friend. Okay. Cool. So yeah, we can probably win this, now that we are working together. Okay, good job, Arc Lights. Keep doing that AoE damage. Okay. Yes. You can only focus on one thing at a time, Mr. Level 3 Marksman, but you have a ton of health. Okay. It worked! So yeah, our, our health pools are shared. Okay then. Round 2. Uh, we can get more deployable units, we can increase the range of phoenixes, that, that's probably important enough, because I bet my... Ooh, or we could do more strike specialists, you know what? Since I'm already going wasps, we'll do more strike specialists. Uh, I think I'll go overlord early as well. It didn't seem like my friend really needed the help, but we're gonna try. At least a little bit. Where is my friend strongest? Hmm. Okay. If I do this. Oh, I can't do this yet? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. What about here? No? Oh, I thought I could do that already. I guess it's round three I can do that. No, I could. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what's going on there, but we'll do... We can get the redeployment ability as well later on. So I'm going to put you guys here. And you here. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Maybe somebody will get some XP so that I can upgrade some units next time around. We'll see how it goes. Steel balls can't shoot into the air, so our wasp will be able to take those guys out. The only problem is these fangs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So I am getting wrecked here. Oof. Okay. That's less than pleasant. Okay. Yeah, they destroyed us that time. Hmm. Okay, enhancement module. We can do that on something. Portable shield. Portable shield is pretty good. What I might do is try to unlock the fortress at some point soon. Because it can get a barrier and stuff. Hmm. Maybe I go Rhino? I think I'll do Phoenixes for now. Let's upgrade you. Get an Overlord. And then we have choices. I need this screen here. Um, hmm. I think we get our jump drive.
Hmm, I thought it would let me do this, but apparently not. Can I not? No? Okay. Uh, I will save the portable shield for now. Alright. Well, sounds like something happened on the other side. <laughs> How will we hold up? Oh, did he get storm callers? Okay. I need a ground cannon on my overlord. Clearly. But I think these marksmen are just going to destroy it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, this isn't good for my teammate. They're slowly making their way over, and it didn't matter. Okay. Hmm. Barrier, ground giant units only. We can get more range. That's a lot of money, though. Hmm. I think I will take the extra range. That'll help us outrange our opponent, maybe. Probably not, though, because he's got marksmen, so that's probably what he's doing. Hmm. So can I finally move my wasps? This is a question. How about my friend? Apparently not still. I really thought you were supposed to be able to do that in the teammate mode. These, those are Mustangs, so that's actually not a good plan still. Okay, I'll do this. And, hmm. I'm gonna get one Phoenix, one Arc Light. And maybe I do give you a shield. I think I'd better save. Well, might not be much time left to save it. But yeah, I can't get rid of that, I think, once I put it on. Okay, that's a potential problem. We'll see how this goes. Yep. So we at least blocked quite a bit of their firepower. Alright. Hmm. But I don't think it's going to be enough, you know? Okay, well, our friend is doing fine at the moment. And these will be helpful. Okay, we And he's got fortresses. As you can see, they've got quite a bit of health and barriers. So I wonder if that'll be enough since they're kind of coming in in a conga line right now. Looks like it will be. Uh, well, maybe not. Okay, that should have been the worst threat taken down. Yep. Alright then. I think he's good. Okay, I think I'm going to try to do some rhinos. Maybe I should do storm callers. Hmm. I don't know. I would do Vulcans, but I'm kind of into this air supply. Sometimes marksmen? 
I'll take the enhancement module. Cause why not? I'll upgrade you. Upgrade. Upgrade. I'm gonna need those probably. Hmm. How much for the rhino? Or the Vulcan. Rhino is 50, Vulcan is 100. I think I do need just this much anti-crowd control. I think I do. I will go with this one. Hopefully getting the upgrades quickly and cheaply. Hmm. And then you did not work over here. Can I put you over here? Really? Hmm. I really thought you were supposed to be able to deploy on your friends, but oh well. <sighs> I was trying to help you out, man. Okay. Well, since that's the case... Do a little bit more of that. And I think we might want energy shields on our wasps next. If we can afford it. At this point, I think we need to try to have things last longer. Okay. Vulcans are doing work. Those marksmen will work on my Vulcans quite a bit. be able to get through this, though, if we can get that tower. Okay. Because now that level 3 marksman shouldn't be able to do enough damage. Or level 5. Wow. It's been leveling a lot, huh? <laughs> okay. But yeah, we're finally kind of catching up a bit on this side. My poor teammate has had to carry me quite a bit. Arc lights are actually sort of keeping up. No, no. Okay. Hmm. Does my friend still have units? Okay. Fewer he has to deal with. That's good. But yeah, it's still... Still kind of... Hmm. I guess we'll see what's going to happen here. I don't think they're fast enough to get through the Stormcaller's artillery barrage. Yeah, nope. goes one marksman, another. But yeah, fortresses are pretty good. They're just great all-around units. They don't do as much against aerial units. I mean, you kind of have to buy a tech upgrade to help them with that. They have a ton of health. Okay, then. So let's see. I could get another barrier, advanced firepower system. Well, let's get Orbital Bombardment. That should help me with all these units. Okay, you guys, get yourself some shields. Produce a wasp. We'll get another phoenix. We'll upgrade you. Upgrade you. Okay, we'll see how this goes. And then, yeah, I think I focus this terrifying, well, orbital bombardment. This is still the most units likely to be hit, so we'll do that. We'll see how it goes. And then camera, where are you? Where are you, camera control? I want to put you back off of menu, but it will. Orbital bombardment's kind of random, so we're probably not going to hit that marksman very hard. That's okay. Hmm. Uh, you did get a fortress, which is very smart of you. Ugh, I dislike this. So I'm going to need some melting points, probably. Or a melting point. Hmm. I'll just have to see how it goes. Oh. 
All right then. Okay, come on, Orbital Bombardment. Save me. Cool. Doing some damage. Getting the work done. I like it. The shields on our wasps basically negate kind of like sturdy in Pokemon, where it's like if something would have completely killed that health bar, it doesn't matter. It only works on the barrier. So small hits are better against the barrier. Uh, but yeah, this doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look great. But once again, I think we're going to lose on my side. Yep. My overlord's going to get taken out by this marksman. Okay. Hmm. Not good for us. Hmm. Okay. Well, that happened. And now... I guess I, I I'll predict that we lose. <laughs> oh, well, good game, opponents. Good game. Other player is disconnected. Wait, what? I'll win and... That's odd. Well, dear viewer, uh, <laughs> this has been Mechabellum. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed Mechabellum, and have a great day.